I'll have to edit that out in post. You guys can laugh at me for now if you want. Hopefully if you do this enough times, we'll figure out how it works. So there it is. Right, we just need that. Click that layer. Did the hue, saturation, and then you can change the color to whatever you want. Sweet. Make it blue. Wow. See, once you screw up a few times, the second time around it gets a little faster, right? Export. Render cube. I want it to be RGB plus alpha. Hit OK. Cancel. Maybe plus alpha, we want it to be Yeah, we'll do quick time and I think it's somewhere in there. What's this? Light blue stage. Light blue stage. Desktop. Render. See how long that takes. Yeah, we'll do the whole thing. Screw it. Now it wants to work. Yeah, now, yeah, before, yeah. <laughs> After Effects <laughs> cracked under pressure, but we don't crack. We just go back and figure it out. All right, so, so you saw all that rendered out, right? And it was a blue stage and all that fun stuff. So let's go ahead and pull up Adobe Premiere. I'm gonna have to delete that first 20 minutes. And in fact, if you guys could tell everybody and laugh at me, that'd be great. So the light blue, if I click on that, we play it through QuickTime to see, did that come out? Yeah, there we go, look at that, it looks normal. So yeah, you guys could really choose, you know, how close you want, what scene, what scene you want when you put it into your OBS. You know, you see it changes. So you could be really further back, or if you want it to be really up close, you know, do that too. Yeah, delete that. So let's go back into Premiere. We're just gonna do a new project. Light, light blue stage piece, right? So now that we have our thing, whatever you want to call it, all I did was take the light blue stage piece and drag it. And you can see my main window out here. Let's check and see if the alpha file transferred over. So I'm just going to take this PSD image. Okay, I don't know how familiar you guys are, so I'm just gonna double click on that, go to the After Effects, and this is larger. I think this is a 720 it rendered out at. So we're just gonna go ahead and you can see that the image actually goes behind and the alpha worked, right? You can see the king move around, cool. So we know the alpha worked. So now it comes time to this part right here. So I'm gonna hold down the option key and then it gives me two of the exact same file. And then we're gonna figure out, you know, where, where we wanna live in our OBS setup, right? I'm thinking something like that. That's, so we're gonna take, we only need one frame. I only need one frame. Now there's probably like an easier way to do it. There's probably like a way just to export one frame out of After Effects, probably, you know. If you want to figure that out, let me know. It's awesome. So we can scroll in. So the way we're going to get one frame out of this, is I'm just going to take my playhead and move it over to the right one spot. So 
So now we just have one frame. But we have double. We have, so we have double. We have the same image. So I'm going to go ahead and blind out the bottom one because we just want to work with this one image right here. So you're probably wondering, yeah, you're probably wondering how, how the DJ fits into this picture, right? So what we're going to do is we're going to go to effects. Well, we're going to try to go to effects. Hit the crop, right? Take the crop, put it on the top. I'll put it on the top. We're gonna zoom on in, right? Well, I thought I was gonna zoom in. Yeah, so we got the crop under this top layer. We'll go to the crop. And we're gonna take the bottom away. Put that right there. Actually, we're gonna take the top away. It doesn't matter, whatever you do, you can do the same to both. Sweet. So that's that. Over here it's 66, right? Do 67. One more for good measure. Make sure that's in there. Okay. Yeah, that kind of works. I like that. So I'm going to hit the I button and then the out button. See how it just highlights the one frame right there? So we're going to go file, export media can we do a PNG because that would be awesome yeah we can do a webm now so I'm gonna take that webm and what are we doing Seven, you guys, you guys, uh, broadcasting at 7:20. Go ahead and do that, and then there's a little button you want to click here that says Include Alpha. We're gonna go ahead and label this. We're gonna go to the desktop, right? Create a new folder. Light blue stage, and call this Light Blue Stage bottom they hit export and then we're gonna take the eyeball off of that and then put the eyeball back on that so now we have the full image and we want to make sure it's the same file so we go file export media light blue stage it's a WebM file because it already pulls up the, the settings that we had from before. Just to double check, we got the include the alpha file. And then we're into the light blue stage folder that we just created. New light blue stage. Cool. And then hit save. Then export. So now let's pull up our OBS. Whoa, let's do file, new scene. Right. Stage. And then we're just gonna add a media. Light blue stage LGB now. Light blue 
stage stage full then you gotta find it make sure it's on loop browse I'm sure you could probably do this with the PNG if you want to play around with that. If anybody out there is watching, and just go to date modified, like each stage will show up. And then, of course, I had one that was called full and hit open. It should just fit because we made it 720. So there's that, right? And then we have to add another one. We're going to add another media source. Like the stage bottom. Make sure it's on loop, hit browse, bottom, open, and then you probably won't notice a difference. It'll just still be there, but you'll realize there's levels, there's layers to it, right? So let's see how that's working. If I pull up my next emergency. what I have on this. Let's just pull up, uh, let's pull this up. Cool. And then I don't need the export window, so I'm just gonna get rid of that. File. Siphon client. Just call it ME. Should show up, it's emergency. Okie dokie. So we realize it lives here on the scene. So this is what I could do. Click on that, transform, fit the fill, and then move it to the back. Sweet. And then of course, you know, whatever you put there should just live in the back. And then you're probably wondering, you know, did it work? Can we fit behind the stage? Let's just add another source, any source, just drop it on there, uh, just an image. All right, so I put the JPEG there. It's really hard to manage at that size. So let's shrink it down. Let's just imagine this was my DJ camera box and I wanted it to be this size. But you realize it's not in the DJ spot area, right? It's called untitled, so I just need it here. And then bam, you see how it disappears? So that's where you would put your green screen footage. And there you go. Now you're ready to start streaming. Any questions? Everybody good? I think the Cade was the only one in Angel and the wife. Uh, Felix, there we go, bam. Had a couple of people watching. Hope you guys got some knowledge out of that, but that's uh, how it works. The link for the stage is in there, and uh, we'll do another one of these again soon. We'll leave this up and uh, turn it to laugh too much. And if you guys want to know about the other stage, how I did that one, we'll, we'll save that for another day. All right, well, got that done. It was on my list of things to do, so it's done. Peace. DJology, bam.